okay, we'll just, we're going to jump right in while you guys are, are jumping on board. Deeper Pumpkin is an all-inclusive crafting kit from Stampin' Up. It comes once a month. It's always a big surprise of what's inside and what we're going to make. So I got mine. I'm super excited. I'm going to share how to make a super cool, it's um, a window easel card. But I'm also going to show how to turn this box into uh, a card holder, of all things. I know they have a, um, this is called the Hope Box. And there's um, there's actually a, a lawn, a little thing here from Shelly, who is the uh, co-founder of Stampin' Out. And she talks a little bit about the Hope Box and what she put in her, in her Hope Box. And I turned mine into a card holder because I thought I could give this as a gift. After I make all the cards, I can give it to somebody as a gift. I actually have somebody in mind that I want to give it to. So that came in the kit. And also um, instructions always come in the kit. So these are the projects that the kit makes. And then these are some nice instructions. Nice and fun. We love photo instructions because nobody reads the directions, right? But no worries because I'm going to make them for you. So don't even have to memorize those. Make it super easy. And uh, I'm going to get started by showing you what comes in the kit. So welcome everybody. I see Wanda just got her paper pumpkin kit. It's good to see everybody on, on here today. It's kind of, a, it wasn't, I mean, I, I did schedule it yesterday, but it's not my normal um, live time. So I'm excited sometimes when I get to come on randomly when it's paper pumpkin time. Because you think all this stuff, you never know when it's, you're going to get your paper pumpkin. It's like a big surprise in the mail. If you are interested in... Um, Paper Pumpkin Kits, you can find out more about Paper Cup Pumpkin at stampwithtammy.com. And um, you can just click on my kits there and it has all the information about how to subscribe. And um, you always want to subscribe by the 10th of the month. So I'll just give you a sneak at what's coming. This is uh, the September kit, super cool. It's gonna be a fall themed one and they even have a cute little box that comes with it that they said we can turn into a wheelbarrow. Love that idea. And I'm going to be giving one of these kits that I'm sharing right now away. So <laughs> make sure you leave a comment. Drop a comment here. If you are watching the live or the replay, um, either one, drop a comment so that you can be entered to win. You might be watching live and you might be watching on, um, you might be watching on uh, Facebook or YouTube. Actually, I'm live on both at the same time. But you may also be watching the replay later. Welcome to everybody. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my future uh, videos. And also be sure to hit that like button if you like it. And if you don't like it, go ahead and hit the dislike button. I'm okay with that too. <laughs> oh, don't hit the dislike button. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> All right, so this is a great way. If you love crafting, you're not quite sure uh, where to start, this type of kit, either the subscription or we have um, standalone kits in my online store, uh, are great ways to get started because they're all inclusive. Everything you need to get to do the projects are in here and ev almost everything to do my alternate uh, card that I'm going to share is in the kit as well. So each one comes with a stamp set. This is um, this month's stamp set. It's kind of an all occasion one, but it really is um, like a, it's an encouraging one. Like it's sympathy can be encouraging. There's a lot of, we love butterflies, right? Every month it comes with a stamping spot. It's a different color. So now these are the same as our regular ink pads. So uh, we have full size ink pads, the same ink, just um, just a mini. And so I'm actually going to be using the full size uh, Big Boy Blackberry Bliss when I make my projects today, so I'm gonna save that for something else. So we have an ink pad, we have a stamp set, and all you need here is uh, paper. Okay, so. Um, but that's not all you need, right? Because you always need embellishments. You got to have the bling. <laughs> all right, let's see what's in the kit. I'm not teasing you guys. Here it is. So uh, out of this box, out of this pretty little box came whoa, all this cool stuff. There's, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. Holy cow. I couldn't even fit it all on the screen. I tried really hard. So I'll show it to you really quickly, but we're going to stamp with it. So you'll see it all when we stamp too. So it makes nine cards and then the box even has decorations for the box. It even has pieces for that. So there's enough die cuts and um, card bases here to do nine, uh, three of each card, three of each card. And I know somebody just asked about the refills. Um, no, I, don't, I didn't see them in the online store. I didn't look this morning, I looked yesterday. They should be up soon if, we're, if they're gonna have them. I also believe this is going to be um, a global kit. I hope I'm not, um, <laughs> I hope that I'm giving accurate information because I don't always have information on outside of the US. 
but I believe at some point this kit is going to be available for those of you who are in other countries. I know that's something that I get asked a lot in my videos about coming to other countries and um, you asked, they heard, <laughs> they listen. I think they just had a hard time with the semantics of it all. So these are just die cuts here that I'm just kind of sharing really quickly. Really cute ones. This one's going to go on the box. I'm just going to put that aside. And um, lots of lots of cute stuff. It's, you see how it comes in all the different languages. Um, I think that is for, um, you see this one? How pretty is this? I'm going to use this on the alternate. And lots of butterflies, which we love. And even, even the envelopes are pretty, right? Everything. So it even comes with adhesives. It comes, to, I guess, I, this is a belly band for the box too. We're going to use that. Okay. So I am just going to move this out of the way so we can get started with the good stuff. And I am going to share the box because I did something really fun. Again, I, 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 loved, I love the idea of the Hope Box um, that Shelly was talking about make, creating this into a Hope Box, especially right now because it's kind of fun. And um, I decorated it like, you know, like the box said, maybe I'll do something different on the video. I, I don't know, I haven't decided about going off-roading there yet. But what I did is instead of making it a Hope Box, I made it a card, a card holder. And I'm gonna share at the end of this video really quickly how I did this. It was very easy. Very easy. Um, these are the cards that were that the kit makes. So pretty, right? So we're gonna make these right now. And then I've got a slot here for the envelopes. Each one has an envelope. Because I thought when I'm done making all my cards, I'm gonna put them in here and I'm gonna give this as a gift to somebody. Because I think I, I know somebody that can use cards right now to give. So I'm just gonna share how to make, I made that little thing on the inside at the end. All right, so. Sarah's saying refills usually come out the 20th of the month. Good to know. So let's get started with card number one. Um, and first I'm going to stamp right uh, as they or as the instructions say <laughs> somewhat. Sometimes, as you guys know, I like to go off-roading. So I can't pr promise that I'm not going to do that, but I'll try to follow the instructions. Now that the instructions don't have words, they just have pictures. It's a lot easier, right? So I already cut out most of the little pieces that we need. I think we need one more little piece here for this one. And that is hope, because we have to have hope. Actually, two more pieces, because I don't, I don't see the tomorrow there either. Ta! All right, if I missed anything. Oh, you know what else I forgot to share that came in the kit? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot. Look at the whole big roll of this Blackberry Bliss ribbon. Oh my gosh, it's awesome ribbon too. Oh, it, like, how cool is that? Right? So look at this ribbon. Huh? Right? So we use that on the box when we get to the box. So these are the pieces for uh, the card number one. And uh, again, I'm going to use my Blackberry Bliss. It's Blackberry Bliss. Catherine's asking what color ink. It's Blackberry Bliss this month. Okay, so the words here are always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring. Nice one, right? So they have this watercolor uh, paper background, so we're going to stamp it right on that. And if you're brand new to Paper Pumpkin, your first kit's going to come with a block. Oh, that was terrible. It's making me wish that I um, had used the Stamparatus when I stamped that. All right, so you know what's really good about um, <laughs> when I screw up on a video? I can show you some tips on how to fix it. I don't think, because I didn't use the Stamparatus, which is a stamp positioning machine, I don't think there's any way that I can save this. But if I do this, there might be some way that I can, oops, wrong way. Dang it, okay. I just want to ink up the bottom part so I can fix that. So, I, I mean, it's good because I can kind of share with you guys some tips on how you can fix your own mistakes when, when they happen, because you know what, everybody makes them. No reason, you know, sometimes people get really like, oh my gosh, I can't do this, blah, blah, blah. Don't, don't feel like that. We all make mistakes. Okay, so let's see. I just took some posties to eliminate the rest of the words. Let's see if I can get that in there. Oh, that was terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay, we're throwing it out. We're throwing it out and doing another one. I should just pull the Stamparatus out, right? I totally should. I mean, that would... That would make sense at this point, but no. We're just gonna go ahead and 
roll with it. Okay. Much better. Much better. All right. That's just a plug for the Stamparatus. Definitely. <laughs> Thanks, Peggy. She's just try, try again. Yeah. Uh, all right. So that's all the stamping on this one. Now, they give us mini glue dots as adhesives in the kit. I'm going to go ahead and just use my um, seal adhesive on most of this because it's just easier. So it actually tells you which pieces you want to use the seal adhesive on. I'm going to go from here. And then this is going to go, um, actually, I think this one's going to go on with dimensionals. And then these two. So I think, let's see, did these go on flat? No, I think everything else goes dimensionals. And if it isn't supposed to go on dimensionals, which are foam pop dots, they are now. <laughs> they are now because I'm I like pop. I like everything popped up. I just think it adds a little pop, a little pow to your projects. And I always want to make sure you got one in the middle of there so we don't have any sagging. I thought this was just such a, a pretty kit when it came in, like the colors. I really liked it. What do you guys think? Do you, do you like this one? I'm a big fan of the, I, I love flowers and butterflies anyway, so they make me happy. So I'm going to put the word hope over the word hope, the word tomorrow, so those really pop. And then we'll put a butterfly on the top and a butterfly on the bottom. And then we're going to take some bling bling. This came in the kit. I already played with one, so that's why this one. I'm just using the one from the kit I already played with because I couldn't help myself. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put a little bit of these. These are iridescent rhinestones, and they're like a wow, right? Every time they put in these fun embellishments, I keep thinking to myself, oh, please carry these. <laughs> please bring them back in a catalog. And card number one's done. Super fast and easy, right? Okay. So that's the first card. Now we're going to move into card number two. And I've got the pieces pulled out that we're going to want for card number two. So we've got our card base. It's already printed and ready to go. We've got um, a white panel. And this one uses these pretty, oh, I thought of so many things I could do with these pretty little uh, banners that are on here. Oh, lots of love for this kit. <laughs> I'm with you guys, totally with you guys. It is pretty awesome. All right, so I am going to do our stamping first again. This one is just a note of hope. I'm gonna stamp that, this, this was a die cut. These circles were die cuts. And then the rest of this is just assembly. So I'm just gonna put these off to the side first while we assemble this part. So. It looks like on this one, they use glue dots for everything. And I'm going to just go ahead and, and use my, use my seal adhesive. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the back. You know what else I thought would look really cool is um, popping these up, popping every other one up would look really nice too. I think there's, you could go either way with that. Now I've got a silicone mat here, so they're sticky already because I just put adhesive on them. So let's see, I'm going to try to go with their what they did here, but I can't make any promises that I'm not going to go off roading. <laughs> All right. So we got like one up and then uh, it looks like the ones that are up were put down first because they're under space that evenly. And then doo -doo -doo, and down. Oh, you're loving that ribbon in the box too. I totally, I, when I opened it up and I saw that my eyes just lit up, I was like, Oh, that's pretty awesome. So that's kind of cool looking, right? So this is going to be our background and that goes on. So we just have assembly here now. So that goes on flat, I believe with, um, just stamp it uh, the glue dots that came in the kit or if you have some, Seal adhesive, that works too. The note of hope is going to go on with some dimensions. And let's see, 
that is going to go right about there. Now, um, for these little dudes, they uh, they definitely want glue dots. So if you use the glue dots that came in the kit, they're going to work really great on these. I'm just using my roll that I had already opened. And we'll just put those down. So we've got two cute little butterflies on there. Good to go. And then the last thing we need on this card, bling bling, right? Because every card needs a little bling bling, right? You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and add some of these iridescent sequins. Welcome aboard all you guys that jumped on that jumped on after we started. It's good to see you guys. And don't forget to drop a comment here if you uh, want a chance to win or just want to say hi. I'm giving away one of these kits and you have two weeks. So if you're, even if you're not live, I read all the comments later too. So drop a comment later. Don't forget to hit that like button. Smash it. <laughs> we love that. All right. Card number two is complete. And now we're on to card number three. This is a really different one. I loved what they did with this. Um, so here they're going to use, let's show you the pieces that they, they used for this one. So the card base has print, it's pre-printed, right? And then they've got this really pretty die cut. And we've got our piece of hope and then um, two little banners here and just a little baby butterfly on the end there. So our stamping is going to be words that go around hope. So uh, the first one will be where there is, and the other one will be there is faith and hope goes in the middle. A little hope in the middle. So I kind of put mine um, on the, on. I used the same block because I was running low on blocks because I got a lot of projects <laughs> that are like half done. And so I just had to, I, I was like, oh, I have to get creative with these blocks now because I got to finish all it basically what I have to do is finish the rest of the projects that I'm working on right all right so this goes on with the glue dots and let me share let me show you right before I stick it on and it lines up with the um, the little uh, color that's on the uh, card already let's see if I can get it to line up so let's see the center of the flowers lines up with the the flowers there it's really neat I love that. I love how they did that. It's just very, very cool. The one thing I was dying to do, and I wish I had it with me to do it, um, I wanted to take some uh, shimmer mist and alcohol mixture and spritz it so it was all sparkly. And I was like, ah, oh. you know what? I, I just thought of it too late. But when you're making yours, keep that in mind. All right, so this is going to go down with glue dots. And you're going to want to stick the glue dots behind these bigger pieces so they don't show through. I think on the instructions, they even tell you where to put the glue dots, but I think you can figure it out. Just look at the sections of the die cut that are a little bit bigger and you can hide a glue dot behind. And then we're going to line that up with the card. And after I make this card, I'm going to share um, an alternate that I made with this card. I'm not going to make it because you, I think you can see when you see the card how to make it. Um, but just a, a quick alternate that I did with this one. Then we'll do some alternates to the alternates. Okay, so the words are both going to go on with dimensionals. These dimensionals just barely fit on these smaller tags. You might even want to cut an edge so that they don't hang over the edge. You know what I mean by that? Um, Never, never throw this out before you <laughs> utilize the entire sheet of dimensionals, but you can cut these little thin edges for the smaller pieces. Or if you have many dimensionals on hand, they work awesome too. So let's go ahead and put hope right in the middle. Hope is going to be right. I mean, it's beautiful, right? It is beautiful with nothing else on it. And then we're going to take our words and put them right above and right below. So where there's faith. Wait, where there is hope, that's the, that's the bad one. <laughs> what hope, there is faith, okay. Where there is hope, there is faith. Very nice. You can change the words up too. 
You know, these don't even have to, they could be birthday cards if you wanted to change things up a little bit, mix things around. And then this little pretty butterfly is gonna go fly right off the side. And then we just have a little bit of bling bling. So we'll come back and pull up a couple of sequins and I just kind of put them um, a little, little randomly around some of the areas that were open so they sparkle. And that card is complete. Okay. I know I got ink all over my fingers. Ah, it comes with the territory, right? It matches my uh, nail polish almost. <laughs> I did not plan that. Okay, so as promised, I stepped this one up a little bit. I'm just going to share this one because we have other stuff to stamp. But what I did was I cut out the front of this one, and then I took a sponge dauber and I sponged the background. Let me pull one over here. So I cut this off, and then I took a sponge dauber and sponged the background with pool party ink. So it's blue instead of white. That gave it just a little bit of a you know pop there, the color did. And then I just, um, instead of using glue dots, I took mini dimensionals. So it popped up the die cut and gave it a, a nice, I thought a nice amount of depth and then just added the ribbon. So literally just stepped it up a little bit. And uh, it, I mean, that was easy, really easy step up project there for that, that last one. All right. Now let's step it up big time and go outside the box and do some stamping. So I am going to share ahead of time. This is what we're going to make. It is a window easel card. It's wicked cool, right? I love it. I love it. And it's, you know what? You're going to die when you see how easy it is to make. It uses that same die cut that we just used. So... To start, let's go ahead. Oh, you know what? We should do the box first, right? I didn't do the box. Let's do that first. My bad. I am such a tease, aren't I? <laughs> okay, so for the box, we're given this, um, I guess I can go either way. We're given this uh, centerpiece, and then the die cuts for the box are all right here. So, I mean, they are all on the same sheet. So we've got a little bit of these guys. And just the words are on another sheet, but I mean, the, this whole piece goes with the box. And we just had like some glue dots to like put these guys down. I don't know. I feel like I might get a little funky with it. A little, little spunky funky. And it's just a belly band, so you can take it off. So it slides on and off the box, so it's not permanently stuck to it, so people can open and shut it. And this is definitely going on with some dimensionals, because that needs to pop. She needs to fly like a butterfly. Those kind of fit there, right? Okay. Let's see. Because I... There. I want her to fly. So I'm gonna put her at a little bit of an angle. And then the words came off this word sheet here. I always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring. And the other languages are for the other times when they are going to be, um, this is going to go in other countries in another language. But you could also use them for alternates and do some funny things with them. They don't have to be, you know, just because they're not in the same language that you use doesn't mean that they can't be used on your card. <laughs> okay. So this is going to go right across the top. Oh, you know what? Before I go ahead and attach that, and probably before I put the butterfly on, I probably want to uh, put the ribbon on it, right? So we'll go ahead and attach the back of this. Um, tight, but not too tight. You don't want it to just completely fall off, but at the same time, you don't want it to be too loose. I'm just going to see. There. And then take the ribbon I know there's so many fun things that you can do with this so this is just gonna wrap right around the front and I'm gonna go I'm gonna peel up my butterfly that I just put down 
which is probably good because it looks like I stuck her to the box anyway, so we don't want that. Take that extra one off that I have there. I want the ribbon to go under her. Come on. Do you guys talk to your projects? I can't be the only one that does that. <laughs> you tell them to behave. <laughs> Come on. You know you do when no one's looking. <laughs> oh, and here I am. Well, you know, live on a video talking to my projects. Yeah, it's okay. I feel like I'm not alone, though. I feel like you guys might do that, too. Somebody out there has got to do it, too. All right, so I'm just wrapping this around the belly band. You can attach it with glue dots, too, if you want to keep it in place. But again, the whole belly band is going to slide up and down. Let's move the cat on the side. So um, it's going to come off the box when you're ready to open the box up. It doesn't permanently attach it. Just tie that in a nice pretty bow. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Dagmar says, the, the most intelligent conversation she has all day is talking to herself. <laughs> oh, good times. All right. Let's put the butterfly back on. Let's try that again. Now that the ribbon's on there, much better. Much better. Now, but see how that slides up and down? And I don't like, I don't like how I did that, but. We can go back to that. And then um, the words are going to go right over the top. Now, the original, I put the butterfly straight, but I kind of liked it at an angle. Okay, so that is the outside of the box. Now, stay tuned for the inside. I mean, for the um, for the end of this video. Don't leave. At the end of this video, I'll share this little tip on how to make yours a card holder. Really quick and easy, right? If you're always looking for ideas to use these pretty boxes. This is a good one. Okay, now, after all that teasing, now we are going to make the uh, easel window, window easel card. So, without further ado, we're gonna start with our pieces here. Um, I'm gonna start with the window sheet. We sell these window sheets in my online store. Um, and I'm actually gonna emboss on this. I'm gonna emboss in white. The good thing about the these, I know sometimes people use like acetate and stuff. Um, you would not want to emboss on regular acetate. These are made for to take the heat, and uh, it sounds like it's you know it sounds like it's a little bit of a saying there. It's made to take the heat, <laughs> but it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the word hope in uh, Versamark ink, and I'm gonna use my emboss buddy. If you have a dryer sheet or something like that, you want to use it, especially here because this is a uh, gonna have a lot of static. Being, being a window sheet is going to have static. So I'm going to do that in the upper right hand corner and throw some marking. And just be careful because the window sheet tends to be a little slippery. So you don't want that to slide. And then I'm going to go ahead and take our white embossing powder. And so we've got white stamp and emboss powder here. I'm going to pour that over the top. Flick off the excess. Can you see it? <laughs> the thing with the window sheet is it's hard to see on the, on the video, but uh, it's, it's definitely, you know, like once you emboss the words on it, you'll be able to see that really good. I'm just going to pour this right back into the jar. And we will pull out our handy dandy heat tool and have at the ready and heat it. And like I said, it's not going to, um, it's not gonna melt or warp the window sheet unless you hold it on there for a super long time. So as soon as it starts to, and it's already starting to, you wanna move it right onto the next piece there. Don't hold it on there too long. Done, super fast, right? And as you can see, no warping, no melting. These are window sheets and they come in 12 by 12, a pack of two, and they are available in my online store. I am going to put this to the side. I'm also gonna shut this ink pad that I have on the back here because I keep throwing stuff in it. Okay, so next up, we're gonna do some die cutting. So I have here um, two sheets of paper. I've got their Blackberry Bliss 
and um, the measurements for them are on the free PDF, which you will find at stampwithtammy.com. And um, you can actually click on the link in this video if you're watching the replay. I will have it um, in this video. If you are watching live, just go to stampwithtammy.com and click the videos. You'll see it there. Um, I will update it with the, the link as soon as uh, I finish the video. So you'll find everything there as well as information on Paper Pumpkin and I'll have some um, I'll have some uh, photos of the projects there as well. All right, so let's get back down here. All right, so um, I'm gonna do some emboss work. I'm gonna bring in our die cut machine and I'm gonna use the uh, rectangle, stitched rectangle embossing. So, I'm going to start with the top sheet. Oh, sheet. <laughs> Sorry, that was so funny. Okay, so this is the, and, and I'm using stitched rectangle dies for this because they are nice to, um, they're nice to cut out, especially in this particular case when you're cutting windows out. They make life so much easier. This is the third largest in the pack. Let's confirm. Yes, third largest in the pack. If you were counting down from the largest, it would be number three. I'm going to take a post-it note and then hold it on there. Um, I use the full heat on the window sheet, yes, but don't hold it on there longer than you need to. As soon as it, as soon as it uh, melts and it does melt quickly, just move it to the next, you know, next area and then you'll be good. Okay, so that is going to create part of our window. And I'm gonna use that as a guide because I wanna make sure, you can't go through two layers of cardstock with that, um, with that die. It, it'll, it, it'll wreck the die, you don't wanna do that. So here's how you make sure it's lined up exactly. Take a pen and literally mark it. Oh boy, I can't even tell if that made a mark. I can't. Okay, I can see it. It's dark card stock. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make sure that that goes exactly where the line is that I just drew. Nope, that's good. Okay, hold that down. and crank that through. Okay. So that is gonna give us our card base. This is going to be our easel, and it's gonna line up perfectly with our card base because we made it line up perfectly with our card base. Um, and I'm gonna take the uh, either the paper trimmer or the Simply Score tool, and this, I, I could have done this originally before I did the die cut, but either way is fine. I'm gonna score it at two and three quarters. So I'm using, I'm using the paper trimmer, so I'm careful to use the uh, lighter of the two blades instead of the darker one. Almost like you're doing a Z-fold. So that creates our frame for our window. All right, next up, we can go ahead and attach. Are we all ready for this? Yes, we are. Let's go ahead and look at all of our pieces as we start to get ready for some assembly. So these are going to be our inside pieces here, and we need some hope. We need some hope on the inside of our card. So we've got a little hope here, and I'm going to take one of these die cuts. Which, hmm, I thought I had one. I guess I don't. I'm going to take one of these, so we'll have that, and 
end, maybe a couple little butterfly, little um, die cut butterflies if you want for the inside. Maybe, um, I don't know, whichever ones you want. Whichever ones you think are the best. Okay. So, these are the pieces that you'll want for assembly when you're ready to assemble your card. I am going to go ahead and start with um, our, acetate, our acetate window sheet. So I'm just going to move these other pieces off to the side while I do that. I'm going to take the silicone mat because... Actually, I probably don't need it. I'm not going to use um, I'm not going to use the seal adhesive. I'm going to actually use the um, glue dots like we used in the um, on the original card that we made with that. So I'm going to go ahead again, same thing, kind of stick the glue dots behind the larger areas of the die cut. And I'm going to go ahead and line that up. It's going to go off the edge intentionally. I don't want to cover the whole thing. I just want it to be kind of parked there. Aw, thanks, Alice. She's a great kitty. <laughs> okay, so now I want to cut off any of that overhang. Because the overhang isn't going to work. And that is kind of hard to see because it is a window sheet. Oops, oops, come back to me, baby. Go back to me. I know it hurt. it hurt a little to cut that. <laughs> I did. I didn't want to cut it. All right, so this is now going to attach to our um, frame. Now, you're going to want to be careful when you do this, when you attach it to your frame. I'll tell you why. I, you know, normally I would like to slather seal adhesive all over the background, but you can't do that because it's a window sheet and your adhesive is going to show through. So you're going to want to take your glue dots after everything is on it and you're going to want to put glue dots up on the, around the top edge as much as you can but behind pieces of this die cut so that they don't show which is why you want to put the die cut on first so you know exactly where to put the glue dots so everything can line up just make sure you're on the edge here because it's only going to be attached on the edge it and there we go it does look pretty on the back side which is good because you're going to actually see the back side when I attach it I can see I can catch that edge that I wasn't able to catch before now that it's attached to the darker cardstock you're right but that's good because you're going to see it a little bit when you, when you flip up the, the uh, card okay so now, I guess I'm going to put that, I moved it and then I'm going to put it back in. Now we can attach this to the um, front of the easel. So where we have this score line right here, that's where the adhesive is going to go under it. Don't put any above it because we don't want this to stick above it. And then just line that up. It should line up perfectly because that's how we cut that center piece to do it. And that is going to create our easel. Yay! So now for the inside, to hold the easel, you need a stopper for it, right? So I've got Whisper White and Petal Pink. And they are going to just layer flat on the inside. That Petal Pink looks way too long. Is that just me? I'm going to trim some of that off. I feel like maybe I didn't cut it right. Oh yeah, I totally didn't cut it down right. Fixed. Do that again. Beautiful. I love these colors together. All right. So now we're gonna take um, the hope. And we're going to attach that with um, dimensionals. This is going to be our stopper. Let's 
So that's going to go wherever you want the stopper to be on the card. I'm going to put it more towards the middle this time because I want it to stand up a little bit higher. The lower down it goes, the, the lower your stand will be and the higher it will be when it's um, attached that way. So I'm going to go ahead and attach one butterfly with dimensional and one butterfly goes down with a glue dot. So I just like to using the extra butterflies on the inside. Okay, so our card is basically done, but you know me, nothing's done until it's got the bling bling. So let's go ahead and attach a couple of these pretty iridescent sequins to it. Wherever they seem to fall and look nice. And our window easel card is complete. Okay, so as promised, I am going to share a little tip here on how to turn your box into a card holder. And this is super easy. It's a super easy trick and you could probably do this with all of your paper pumpkin boxes if you wanted to use them for cards or for other things. Just We're just gonna make a nice little compartment in here. Before I do that, um, I wanna share a couple of things for you guys. First of all, for those of you um, who bounced on late and you love this kit, you can enter to win one by leaving a comment here on this video. And if you share a video onto social media and type the word shared into the comments, so I know you shared it, I'll enter you a second time. Drawing's not till September 3rd, so you have time even if you are um, watching the replay. And um, so Celebration is happening. This is an awesome event where you can get free products for every $50 in orders in my online store. And you're going to love it if you saw my sheep videos. They were Celebration. That goes till the end of September. And there's an awesome join special. So if you have a list that is over $100 long, you totally want to join. It's absolutely the best, best deal. Um, so we are now using the Hope kit. I hope this refill, I hope it, get it. I hope this refill will be coming up shortly. Um, and you can download the uh, stamp case inserts in my online store. All right, I'm gonna bounce back down to the table and I got a question, what tool are you using for the sequence? Honestly, I'm almost always using my um, take your pick tool. I have um, like what, what came to my hand first was this was an old paper piercer that we used to carry before we came up with the Swiss Army knife of uh, tools. <laughs> this is the take your pick, uh, which they're exactly the same thing. They both have paper pierced ends. It just happens to be that that one was closer to my hand when I grabbed it. But take your pick tool is awesome because these have all different attachments that you can change. This one is if you make a mistake, you can slide your paper off. This is for your die cuts. And then there's embossing attachments and it's pretty dang cool. That was a good question. Okay, you guys ready for this? Let's go and make a box to remember. All right, so this is the box we just decorated. I'll just take that belly band off. And I have pre-cut these pieces of paper, but these papers, the sizes are on that free PDF that's on my blog. So go to stampwithtammy.com or click the link in the video's description. I have the dimensions for um, these pieces of Melon Mambo for the box. That will make it super easy for you. Okay, so except, oh, are you kidding me? This is the wrong size. Okay, well, I have the measurements there, but I clearly didn't cut one of them correctly. So let's see if I have a piece of Melon Mambo here that I can cut. My apologies. See what I got here in my pack of pretty papers. Okay. So, because I wanted to cover the bottom, I want it to look pretty, right? So, that definitely was not the right size. Let's see if I can get this one. I have I have written down nine and a half by six and a quarter. So, I've got an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper here. I've got nine and a half by six and a quarter. Never throw the boxes away, right, Dagmar? Totally. I'm with you, sister. Gotta find something fun to do with them. But the, I think more and more of mine are gonna end up being 
um, make things like this out of it because I loved this idea. After I made it, I'm like, why haven't I done that before? Okay, so this is gonna go down. I'm gonna show you a little tip. Um, I learned this because we had paper pumpkin, mini paper pumpkin boxes that we used to um, have in stock. And this was, they came unassembled. So I'm like, oh, we can assemble and unassemble this, right? So we're gonna, I'm just, I found it easier to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down with some seal adhesive. And then I have a strip here for the back. That's all wrong. It's all wrong. What the heck did I grab? I think I grabbed the wrong pieces of um, cardstock. Okay, so nine and a half. Is that nine and a half? Yeah. By one and three quarters. I might want that a hair smaller than one and three quarters. Maybe more like one and three eighths. Maybe, just so it doesn't hang over the top. Okay, so that just, because it made it pretty with that on the background. And then you can put the, I, I just found it easier to take the, the box apart when I did that. So I bunch out a little bit so you're not getting too uh, seasick there. Front row with movie theater. <laughs> okay. Right? It's so much prettier now. And you, if you wanted to, you could put a strip along the front here too. Um, but no one's going to see that as much. Okay, so this piece here, I'll go ahead and make it for you just so you can see how I did it. I believe that is the right size. Okay, so it is one and three quarters by six and three quarters. Sorry, I'm not sure why my camera isn't very, it's not very happy right now, but you, you guys can still see it, right? Okay, so again, the measurements are on that PDF. So what I'm gonna do is score it on the short side at a half an inch. And then I'm going to score it on the long side, a quarter inch in on either side. <laughs> that is a good, good use. Like he says, whenever she goose, her cards become something else. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so we've got our score lines. I don't know if you can see them well there, but I'm just gonna take some scissors. On one side, I'm gonna cut off the bottom rectangle on that edge. On the other side, I'm gonna cut off the top. So the piece is gonna look like this. It's really easy, right? So this is gonna be the bottom. This is gonna to attach to the back edge. But this you do not want attached at all, just on the bottom edge there, because um, you want to be able to shut your box and put the lid on the inside. It's going to slide in there. So I would recommend using something like tear tape, sticky strip, something um, stronger than our regular adhesive that I would normally use. I'm going to go ahead and do the tear tape. Seal Plus works really good. And then just peel off your back ends if you're using something like this. If you're using um, Seal Plus, you don't have back ends, so <laughs> don't need to do that. Okay, the other thing is you want to put it right in the middle, which is pretty easy to find because there's a little thumb notch here. So we'll just go ahead and attach that bottom strip. Make sure that's attached to the back. This is going to be loose here because that needs to close. So it needs to be able to slide in and out. And that's it. 
right? Now you've got a box that you can put all of your pretty cards in. You can put all of our pretty, you can put double your cards in here, or you can put the cards in them. Oh, sorry, they're not stuck in nicely because they're not playing nicely. You can put your envelopes in here. Pretty little envelopes fit nicely. And then you can use this. You can have it as, you know, put it on your shelf and use the, the cards at, while they're in it. Or, or you can give this to Luca as a gift. That is just my little tip on how to turn your paper pumpkin box into a gift card holder, or card holder to give as a gift or to keep as yourself. And then we get our cute little belly band that slides on and off. Whoops. And if you use some glue dots to hold down that ribbon, it won't do that. <laughs> All right. I hope you like that. I hope you guys liked my uh, my alternate idea. I had some fun with that. I liked playing with the, the extras. I actually, um, I had another really cool one. If you have ordered the Hope Box from me um, last month, you got, uh, you will be getting PPX videos from me on the 1st of September. And I just finished my PPX video, which is, uh, that's a um, share group that I'm in. So if you uh, subscribe to Paper Pumpkin with me, you'll get videos, alternate videos at the first of every month for every kit that you subscribe to. So my um, August subscribers are going to get it. The, the project that I just made along with uh, five other amazing projects that I hope you guys are absolutely going to love that are alternates to this box. And don't forget, go ahead and subscribe to September because that one looks to be pretty awesome too. And you will get, again, PPX videos from me um, in, with the September kit when that one comes out. It's like so much fun. We're gonna be able to turn that one into a wheelbarrow. All right, and if you love everything you see here, be sure to check out my blog. You wanna check out my VIP club because I have exclusive videos there for my club. Every, I do exclusive classes, exclusive specials. They get discounts on my kits, all kinds of fun stuff. Plus you get all the perks and uh, of celebration and everything else going on. Great program, stampwithtammy.com. And goodness, how about now? Can you hear me now? That was weird. Thanks so much for joining me today. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this and I will catch you back here Saturday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with my Stampa Demonstrator Group's blog hop. Thanks for joining me.